Welcome all. Now, is everyone ready for Christmas? Yes. Uh, yeah, excited. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the eggnog, Graham? <laughs> <laughs> what is eggnog? <laughs> You'll know. Nutmeg, milk, egg, and rum. nog. And nog. Yeah. <laughs> so growing up, growing up, Matt. As you were a kid, because it is all like that, what was the, like, the best toy you ever got growing up? Oh, crikey. Uh, I got a Mega Drive, which I love. I used to love just wearing pyjamas all day. I'd, I'd, I'd sort of get pyjamas in the morning and then put them on, and pyjamas are quite soft, aren't they? So I'd enjoy them for a few hours and... <laughs> um... <laughs> you were born to play Doctor Who. Oh, well. <laughs> I put on my pyjamas and wear them all day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and Gillian, one of the real traditional things is we all sit down and we watch the Doctor Who Christmas Day special, mm. uh, which has kind of reinvented Christmas telly for us. It's a lovely thing. Yeah, it's And nice. you're back again this year. We are. And do the Smith family sit down and watch it? They do. No, seriously, do No, they? no, no, yeah, absolutely. My, my, uh, my mum and my dad and my granddad comes down and my kind of sister gets a bit bored and looks on a computer a lot and, and uh, she, she kind of likes Doctor Who, but... She sort of pretends, pretends not yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. She sort of ignores it a bit. But it's um, a little bit embarrassing, because, you know, Christmas is all about family, and then suddenly it's like, and now it's about me. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, my mum's quite sort of gushy. She's quite proud in that way. <laughs> but your family like it. They enjoy it. Oh, yeah. They love it. Yeah, Apart from yeah. the sister who gets what? Is that the same sister who used to style you? Well, I, I mean, that's, that's a very bold word, style <laughs> but, but uh, she had an influence over my early entrance into <laughs> fashion. <laughs> What would she put you oh, in? Oh, don't ask. I mean, we, it, it, like, pink lycra... Not, not lycra, that's the wrong word. Pink sort of <laughs> plasticky trousers and... Plasticky oh, trousers? Yeah. Like, a bit of a hell. <laughs> tops and beads up to here. And we used to pretend to get into a local nightclub, which was called Chicago's, and had lots of, like, <laughs> no disrespect to them, like, old, haggard women who were, who were past it. <laughs> um, but we were from the boy band Blue. Uh, because they were just coming out, and she was a dancer, she said, there's this boy band Blue. And so we used to dress up as though we were from a boy band, and she would orchestrate that. Uh, you would be a member of the boy band? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, that was that, you know. Um, but uh, the special, the special this Christmas, yeah. it, I have to say, it sounds lovely. It sounds like such a sweet story. Give us a taste of what the story is. Well, it's called The Doctor, the Widow and the Wardrobe, uh, and you can sort of guess the connotation. Uh, and we're in the war, and uh, Madge Arwell has lost her husband. This is the main character. And then uh, the Doctor finds... I'm you, explaining you. this terribly, yeah. Um, it's the Second World War. It's the Second World I'm War, sorry. Helping. Yes, yes, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> the Second World War. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. <laughs> finds a big old house and thinks he'll, he'll, he'll make their Christmas better. And he gives them this wonderful present, which they then crawl through, enter a brave new world, as it were, and, and, and many dangers that lay beyond. And good monsters, as usual. Great monsters, as yeah. usual, and, and uh, good gags from Stephen. And um, it's... it's uh... Well, uh, yes, there may be a tear in... My, my mum cried at yes. the screening. I think well, I'm reading about it, I welled up a little bit. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, but, but here's a nice happy scene, I'm guessing, from near the yeah. beginning. This is you in action with the kids. Oh, right. Lily in Cyril's room, I'm going to be honest, Masterpiece, the ultimate bedroom. A sciencey, wincey workbench, a jungle, a maze, a window disguised as a mirror, a mirror disguised as a window, selection of torches for midnight feasts and secret reading, Zen garden, mysterious cupboard, zone of tranquility, rubber wall, dream tank, exact model of the rest of the house, not quite to scale, apologies, dolls with comical expressions, the Magna Carta, a football, Cluedo, the yellow fort. Where are the beds? Well, I couldn't fit everything in there. Had to be sacrifices. Anyway, who needs beds when you've got hammers? I know. That's the best thing. It's fun. It's fun. And are you still? Do you have a real reputation for? Clumsy is the wrong word. You just kind of. Oh no! Yes, yes. Is I mean, the right word? Yes. It's a. It, it's a sort of. Inherent disease in me, actually, clumsiness. It's 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 bad. But it's do you break efficient. things and I break everything. How yeah. is that? How do you? I just don't know. It was. I mean, I used to play football, and people would say, "How can you play football the way you do?" When you know, I mean, uh, it's uh, at my best friend's house. I I had a plastic beaker, 
he's called Alex Bond, and, and, um, and I had a plastic beaker until the age of, like, 14, and everyone else was using glasses at, like, Special night. beaker. <laughs> Special beaker. <Yeah. laughs> Special beaker. I know, it's oh, of me. I feel I, I, I was always... I'd get this orange beaker, and you can't, oh, no. you can't even fit that much fluid in a child's beaker. <laughs> Did it have a lid? No. Oh, right. <laughs> And also, presumably that oh, it's huge uh, in America now. It's growing, yes, quite excitingly. It's, it, it's um, yeah, it, it, you know, there was this thing with the iTunes, which has been really positive, that it's the most downloaded show in America. It beat like Glee and Mad Men and... Wow. Really? It was and number Doctor, one. Really? Yeah, yeah. What? But it, there is... Know, you're, you're like, whoa! <laughs> 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 it's like, no, really? Yeah. That show? <laughs> <laughs> I grew up here and then moved to the States, but and then nobody's tell... heard of Doctor Who. I mean, I used to watch yeah. Doctor Who when I was yeah. growing up here with Magic Roundabout and all that kind of yeah. stuff from the Daleks. You sound and... so English. I know. Are you English? No. Are you American? I'm American. Wow. But you yeah. spend an awful lot of time here. Yeah, I grew up here until I was 11. And then you came back? And then I came back. Well, we used to come back every summer because my parents had a flat in Haringey. And, you came uh, back for that? <laughs> Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Were you telling your friends in, in the States, yeah. We're going back to our place in Haringey. <laughs> we're summer in Haringey. Yeah, we're summer in Haringey. That's exactly right. Uh, but in terms of science fiction in America, the science fiction fans are so kind of passionate and they have these yes. big conventions. Uh, Comic Con, you've been to Comic Con. I have, yes, yes. And, uh, is there a money-making thing or is it just for the fans? Well, it's, it's they, they, they launch and promote show. I mean, you must have been countless times. I've but... been once. Yeah. It, have you it, only been once? It's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I loved it. <laughs> yeah, so I went to Comic Con a couple years ago with um, my co-star David Duchovny and Chris Carter, who was the uh, exec producer, and we were sitting at the table when they, you know... Yeah. And people walk up, as you may know, to the microphone and ask, question. ask questions. So this person, we think, walked up to the <laughs> microphone <laughs> in a green outfit and a hat, kind of made of felt, and um, <laughs> slightly elf-like, and started talking about the fact that he couldn't believe that he got to wear the outfit and talk to us at the same time. <laughs> Oh, that's sort of adorable, though. I think it was from a game, from a... Come on, who a knows? Gamers, a, gamers. a gamers thing. Is there an Role elf player. in the game? Yeah. I was going to say, game was there world? an elf in the X-Files? Is there an elf? No, but no, for Dungeons it's and Dragons and stuff. One oh, right. of the fact that he was able to play his favourite oh. gaming character at the same the time oh. talk to us. It was yeah. like, yes, he must like have come home. Yeah. Crying. Yeah. <laughs> A geekgasm, they call it, don't they? A geekgasm, is that what they call it? A geekgasm, yeah. Really? Right? Oh, so, a moment so geeky, you're just like, I can't believe it's happening. <laughs> 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 Didn't you, didn't you and Karen Gillan bump into yourselves? Yes, yes, we were just walking down the street and, 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 I mean, there were carbon copies in the whole thing and, and it was, uh... Did they genuinely look like you? No, they looked really ugly, but, um... <laughs> <laughs> that's doing myself a lot of favours, isn't it? Not to suggest that I am. Anyway, um, no, but, you know, this was dressed up to the nines. And listen, I'm told you took pictures yes, of your phone. Yes, you got? yes, you well, we met a group of, would you believe this, right? This is... Shall I hold it up to the camera? We met every single doctor. Oh, hang on, there we go. There's Tennant on the left there, oh, Eccleston. Yes. Me behind Where's the guy with curly hair from, like, the uh, 70s? He's around, he's around. Is he over there? <laughs> oh, we have. Over there. Also, who is that? <laughs> and they just come yeah. there to celebrate Doctor Who? Yes, yes, and, 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 um, and, and we met them. We were like, oh, God, can we have a photo? And, and uh, that's the sort of vein of it. I love it. I think it's really cool. Have you been to many? Just the one. Oh. But he's going again. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah. not like you. Yeah. <laughs> you were in there crying elf home. <laughs> <laughs> not doing that again. And uh, Karen Gillan, of course, the last bit of news that she's leaving. Yes, yeah, she is. How did you find out? I've known a while, actually, because we've known... Oh, OK. ..a couple of months, and, and uh, yeah, sort of by mutual consent, I think, I think really those stories just come to a point where 
you know, it, it reaches its conclusion. And, and, and the very essence of the show is that it sort of constantly reinvents itself. So. And because you started at the same time, it must make you slightly think, ooh, she's going. Uh, <laughs> well, why am I still here? No, I, I mean, I'm very happy to stay. I, I, I love it. I, I love making the show. But it's, I miss Karen because... She's a good mate, you know, she's one of my best mates. And no, she's a really nice girl. She's a cracker, yeah, she's isn't she? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm mad as a yeah. box of cats, but, but she's, um, <laughs> she's, a, she's a firecracker. She really is. Uh, I was pretty, pretty decent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, did yep. you really? No way. Yeah. Who for? I'm joking. Oh, my God. That's the only one. Do you like football? <laughs> I do like football. Do yes, I do. Do, do you, you watch it? I do. I watch it when it's the the thing that happens every four years. <laughs> Even I. Even I. Not <laughs> 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 the Olympics. The uh, other one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is? I like a kick around, um, and so I've got a ball. Oh, and I can you. Can you impress us with football skills? I know I you've, got, you've got a sore back. I've got a you? back injury, yeah. Now, is, the back uh, injury, uh, is the back injury why? Uh, it's true, that's what I have to say. <laughs> no, that's why you need to stop being a footballer. Uh, what do you want me to do? <laughs> you do keep your uppies. Yeah, I'm going to keep your yeah, uppies. My face. How many can we do? 20? Oh, no, right. Right, one. Oh. <laughs> look away, look away. This and is a you, terrible. It's not. It, it, see, <laughs> see how these are going? <laughs> this is going well, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> Can you play football? No, not at all. That's why I was asking you to play football. Is throw it, it, throw it, throw it in the air. I'll try and catch it on my neck. Oh, no. So if you throw it, it should land about. If it goes oh, no, it's 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 Do you see who there. you're asking to throw a ball? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Ready? One, two, okay. three. If we get this over arm, yeah. something. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Ready? Go on, yeah. Do it. Yeah. Awesome. Oh. Frankly, oh, I'm more impressed terrifying. that I threw it than you caught it. <laughs> that was the more impressive bit of that trick. Yeah. Well done. <laughs>